530. I'm Colin Mayfield and I'm Vanessa Rufus. Road safety advocates have an urgent message tonight as this week has seen multiple crashes, some serious and others deadly. Yeah, just today, one person was seriously hurt in a crash on Golf Links Drive and then a short while later, a major crash on 485 in Northwest Charlotte that killed one person and injured two other people. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker found out why some advocates are calling the trends a public health crisis. As we head into those summer months, the rules of the road become even more important. Now there's three simple goals of this. The first one is to just keep those people moving. The second one, obviously have an enjoyable summer. And finally, save as many lives as possible. A deadly few days on the roadways in the Queen City. And I have some of the best students in Charlotte. Has driving instructor Janine White ready to share some important information to consider. Tons of new drivers. School is out, so more people are traveling on the roadways, and people have more time, a perfect chance for them to get a license. We're probably going to uh, handle maybe 40, 45 new drivers. And over time, AAA says there's been a disturbing trend of aggressive drivers. We've been seeing a lot more cases of road rage. Be a little bit more tolerant. Don't take things so personal behind the wheel. While drivers flood the roads, ideas get the green light inside the state capitol. That is a, a major public health crisis. Mark Easel, director of North Carolina Governor Safety Program, says the state is partnering with organizations and departments, providing funding and grants to promote safe driving. In North Carolina, we know that you know, the summer is an especially dangerous time for younger drivers. Uh, nearly half of all the fatal crashes that occur uh, for young drivers are during the months of summer. Easel says in 2022, the most recent study, youth involved crashes increased from 2019 prior to the pandemic. Those statistics are a driving force for white. Um, with extra drivers on the road, that is not a time for you to hot ride to, to speed to see if you can beat the traffic light. Hoping scenes like these stay in the rear view. White also adds a reason why you might think there are more crashes. There's a lot of families and more people from out of state moving and relocating here, so they learn to drive in very different conditions. In Charlotte, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.